One of the leading contenders for a coronavirus vaccine has started a final round of testing in the United States. Researchers at Oxford University, in partnership with AstraZeneca, started dosing the first volunteers in Florida on Friday. 31 people have received either the vaccine or a placebo. Dr. John LaPook has been covering the search for this COVID vaccine. Good morning to you again, John LaPook. So what happens in phase three of this trial? Good morning yet again, Gail. During the third and final phase, the vaccine's tested for safety and how effective it is at reducing or blocking COVID-19 symptoms. That's before getting FDA approval for public use. I spoke exclusively with the first American in the Oxford AstraZeneca trial. Look at the amount of lives that we lost, and I just don't want that to keep occurring. 23-year-old Jacob Serrano is the first volunteer to be dosed in the U.S. with either the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine or a placebo. He has lost seven family members to COVID-19 and says he wants to be part of the solution to save lives, no matter the cost. I knew there was a risk because it's like it's a trial, but I'd rather have us one step closer no matter what it takes. Serrano was dosed on Friday at Headlands Gem Research Institute in Lake Worth, Florida. The immune response was very encouraging. Dr. Larry Bush is an infectious disease doctor and the lead principal investigator for this trial site. He says he's optimistic this vaccine is effective. In the phase one and two trials, the vaccine has been proven that not only do you get robust neutralizing antibodies to fight the coronavirus, you get a T cell response, another arm of the immune system, to fight off the cells that do become infected. That's crucial in treating infections. Oxford University has been conducting phase three trials in the United Kingdom, Brazil, and South Africa. In earlier phases, there was no evidence the vaccine causes serious reactions. Headland's research says their focus is on enrolling members of the African American and the Latinx community who have been disproportionately affected by the pandemic. The numbers are pointing to that those groups of people becoming infected at a higher rate. And therefore, that's a group that would highly benefit from vaccination. AstraZeneca says it plans to enroll up to 50,000 participants globally and is planning to start phase three trials in Japan and Russia. The company expects to have late stage trial results later this year. Gail? Yeah. We hope so, Dr. LaPook. But what's the significance of enrolling participants from all around the world for this? Well, a couple of things, Gail. You want to have a diverse population of people who are being tested, but also you want to be in areas where there's a, there are a lot of cases. The more cases there are in an area, the more quickly you'll find out whether the vaccine works, whether there's a difference between giving the placebo and giving the vaccine. I mean, think about it. If you give it in an area where there are no cases, there'll be absolutely no difference between people getting the placebo and the vaccine. And this is one reason why we don't know exactly when phase three trials are going to be, give us statistically significant results, because it depends on how effective the vaccine is and how many cases there are in the area being tested. Yeah, we all want a vaccine, but more than anything, we want it to be safe. So is this being tested for ki on kids? And how safe is it for children if it is being tested on kids? You know, Gail, kids are not being uh, tested yet. And the definition of a kid is anybody under 18. But what happens is that once there's some signal of efficacy, of effectiveness of the vaccine in the adult trials, then they can go back and they can start doing safety trials in children. And then if those go well, they can actually look at the efficacy trials, those results in adults, as a sort of a bridge to getting a vaccine approved to children. There are a lot of steps in the way of that, but that's basically what's been explained to me about the process. So no children are being given it right now, but in the future that could happen. Thank you, John LaPook.